what's up YouTube fam in today's video I wanted to give my dining room a bit of a makeover while sticking to a budget like a strict budget so I'm going to show you how I turned my dining room from this I was just tired of the colors to this so this makeover it was under $50 I was thinking about buying a whole new dining room set but I didn't want to spend the money so first things first is clear off the table. I had so much stuff on the table that it was just like not even presentable. So I had to you know, get organized, clear the table off, and then clean it off. I'm using this Fabuloso just to kind of get it clean first. Um, very important to prep your table if you're gonna cover it in contact paper. That's what I'm doing to get this marble effect that you're gonna see. Um, definitely prep it really well. If you don't, especially if you have a textured surface like this, this is like real wood and it's textured. So you definitely want to prep it by cleaning and sanding first. If you don't, the contact paper won't adhere, it'll be coming up. So I use this sanding block and just kind of make sure I sand it all over any area that was going to be covered with the contact paper. So initially I was going to cover the whole entire table, tabletop and legs, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, for anyone who's new to this channel, my name is Nicole. I'm a mom DIYer and pretty much share my experiences with you guys. So I use this app Planner 5D Interior Design from the App Store to kind of map out how I wanted my dining room to look. So it's like you can customize it to the dimensions of your space. It's really cool, a little hard to navigate. Um, and it's actually like $60, but I use the free trial for seven days just to kind of plan out the space. So the table is covered in contact paper. I was gonna do the full table, like I said, but I switched it to just the um, top part. I currently have it. The size of my table, the type of chairs I have. I customized the table to, you can import like your texture. So the marble paper, the velvet, black. I imported that into the app so I could customize it to really try to see how it would look together. Um, I want a black and white grayscale painting on the wall. I haven't been able to like find what I want yet, but this is kind of the idea to start with. It's um, you know, want to evolve, but this is where we're starting. So I ordered my products from Amazon. I just did the contact paper and the seat covers. For this, I ordered about seven. I only used four because um, initially, like I said, I was going to um, cover the full table, so I would have needed more. I did measure the. Um, table and the legs initially with the measuring tape and you know to figure out how much paper I would need So it's easy to peel up if you work with contact paper You know you just want to take your time and do it slowly to prevent any air bubbles. So I started with one corner This is how it looked um, Once I put the first sheet on I'm gonna show kind of like a close-up so you guys so you guys can see how I applied it if you haven't worked with contact paper before, um, or if you just kind of want some tips, because I've worked with it a few times, I've had some fails, but you know, the more you work with it, the more you can kind of learn from your mistakes. So you pull back the paper, you see the grid on the back, so if you need to like measure, it's kind of easy to line things up. But I pull the paper back slowly each time, use like either a card, um, a spatula to smooth it out. And then I use my hand to kind of like reinforce the smoothness. And this really prevents the air bubbles. Like I did my bar a while ago, I'll link that video, but it looks terrible because I didn't take my time. I didn't properly sand the wood. Um, so it's not smooth, there's air bubbles, and you know, just learn from your mistakes. So I'm just sharing that bit of my experience with y'all in this video. So just take your time. Sometimes like I used to like pull the paper back too much at a time and then try to smooth it but I didn't you know it was just too many air bubbles by that point so pull back a little bit at a time smooth it out pull back some more until you you know are finished pretty much so this table came out so good I was going to buy a marble a table with a, mar a marble uh, top but you know I just really didn't want to spend the money on a whole new dining room set Side note, please disregard my nails. We don't judge each other on my channel. That's how we do. I don't judge you, you don't judge me. Just wanted to call that out. But this table turned out really good. A good substitute, good cheap substitute. For the top, I only used about four rolls. What, and that was $5 a roll, so like $20. 
versus buying a new table because this table was actually really good quality. I got it from Wayfair a while ago. Um, so this was a good budget friendly way to just kind of change up the look because I was just so tired of the look of the table. This is how I kind of sealed the corner or the edges, hold a ruler up to it and you can use like an X-Acto knife or some scissors to score it so the paper is exactly lined up with the edge of the table and you don't have to like fold it under but if you do have extra paper you can fold it under. So this is the final look of the table. You can kind of see the lines where, you know, the next piece of contact paper starts, but it's pr pretty smooth and looks good. These are the um, dining chair covers that I got from Amazon. They had pretty good reviews. I made sure I looked at the sizes, you know, for the back, the seat, just to make sure they would fit. So definitely do that whenever you're, you know, ordering something like this. I was skeptical because I wasn't sure if it would fit properly, if it would be baggy, whatever. But I love the velvet look because I'm just so was so tired of the blue, whatever texture this is of my original chairs, and I wanted to like switch it up a bit. So you can see here in this clip, I had done the bottom part of the table, and I just took it off because I wasn't feeling how it came out. I just felt like it was doing too much, and I didn't take my time for the leg parts, so that was a fail. Um, but this is just how I put the covers on. It was super easy and it just like fits super perfectly. Even when you sit down on it, the seats don't come up. We kind of, me and my daughter kind of tested it out to be like, you know, if you sit on it, if you flop on it, will the seat covers raise? And it didn't. So I would definitely recommend these for, you know, to switch up the color of your chairs, to switch up the texture. But because I had this black and white color scheme going from my kitchen to the living room, I just wanted to kind of carry that into the dining room without having to buy a whole new dining room set. And then when I'm tired of this, you know, I can I can do it again. I can paint the table. I can do some new seat covers. But just look at the black and white effect versus, you know, the color scheme I had before. Um, and I still have this painting on the wall. I still think it looks great. Um, I also put like a little piece of greenery in the middle of the table to tie the painting in. Um, and then I put my plan in, you'll see in a second. But this just like upgraded the space so much. I hope y'all find value in this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel. But just a simple, cheap, easy way to upgrade your dining room space without spending a lot of money, but just going for a different look. It's kind of like changing your bed sheets, but you know, dining room form. So I'm really happy with the way this came out because I would have spent like $800 on a new dining room set when I just spent less than $50 to get this look right here. So I'm gonna bring in my little plant. I've been uh, taking care of this plant so well for a year now. I'm so proud of it and I'm gonna show you guys the final look right here. Sorry for the little, you know, wiggly camera, but this is how it looks. Let me know what y'all think. I'm not a professional, um, but I do my best and I share with you guys my experiences. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate y'all. Drop some comments in the comments below. And let me know what you think about this video. I am going to show y'all again um, after this, just the before and after. And I put a side-by-side -side of the, um, the digital form for like what I wanted to do versus how it came out. And I think it was pretty close. And I will do something on the wall to replace this painting eventually, and I'll share that once I do. So again, before, this is the model, and then this is the after. So let me know what y'all think, how it looks compared to the planner, and if you, you think you would use this planner. I'll see you guys in my next video.